Yo, what's going on everybody? My name's Dusky and we're here playing some Battlefield 1 and um playing campaign. Do, do you want to know why we're playing campaign? We're playing campaign because I don't have any fucking internet, okay? And this is kind of going to be a rant video. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest. This whole video is going to be a fucking rant, okay? Okay, I'm going to try not to cuss as much, but basically this is going to be like a story of how, um, that it's not even really a story because it's happening to me right now. This is just reality for me. It's where, uh, uh, Century Link, yeah, Century Link, the internet company is basically telling me to go fuck myself, like straight up to my face telling me to go fuck myself. Yeah, so if anybody from Century Link is watching this you can go fuck yourself back yeah let's get to this <laughs> we're playing the uh, battlefield campaign one of the stories right now it's like the only story i haven't finished so i'm gonna finish it real quick but uh let me start off explaining everything from the beginning okay uh oh horsey hello we're gonna jump on you this all started out as uh basically i was upgrading my internet from 10 megabits to 20 megabits okay so i'm like doubling my internet speed when they told me this over the phone i was like hell yeah let's do this so they charged me a hundred dollars and sent me a modem actually this modem right here hold on i'll show you on the camera here's what we're playing and the modem's right here you see this this fancy uh modem right here focus you fuck see how the dsl light just keeps blinking green and yeah that that's basically the problem um the dsl won't connect so i don't have internet but yeah they sent me this hundred dollar modem that is like their newest modem that'll take 20 megabits or something like that so pretty much right there there there's there's a hundred dollars i've just spent like like right there bro dude it's been a long time since i played video games and tried to like talk at the same time this is not as easy as i remember it was okay okay for just for that modem that was a hundred dollars and then they charged me i think it was like 45 dollars for the actual internet itself for like the service of the internet and then the first of july which is this month that we're in right now will uh that's when the internet will be on the first of this month so i was like all right cool thank you so i wait till the first of this month they said it'll start at like 5 p.m which it didn't i waited till it was past 5 p.m and i was like what the hell man my internet's still not on what is going on so i called them up i was like yo uh you guys told me my internet was gonna be on why is it not on and they basically told me that oh we've changed it it's gonna start on the second which was the next day and i was like okay that's weird why'd you tell me it's gonna start on the first if it was gonna start on the second yo what am i supposed to be doing here i'm so confused oh retrieve engine components okay i'm looking for the, the engine huh now i remember what's going on where is it engine components hello oh my god i found the freaking engine parts they were right here the whole time so yeah they told me to wait till the second so i was like all right fine i'll wait i'll wait okay they said it'll be around the same time so i waited past 5 p.m that day and the internet was still not on i was like what the what the fuck dude I, I was sat there literally looking at my modem i was like okay it's almost five the second it was five i was trying to i was trying to get it to work and i was like all right maybe it'll just start in like an hour or something so i waited till like seven again and then i called up customer service and i was like yo we do what, what you told me this was gonna work why is it not working They're like oh we're sorry we have to send you to a different department but that department is closed so you're gonna have to call tomorrow so i was like okay well fuck you i didn't i said them but that's what i'm thinking You guys originally told me it was supposed to be on on the first now it's the second and it's still not on you guys told me it's supposed to be on on the second too so it's like what are you guys actually saying to me right now oh here you are buddy dead oh whoa 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 holy shit dude are we grabbing his knife or his barrel of his gun oh what just happened bro whoa epic moment epic moment I lost my way back there. There's no right way in a place like this. Damn right. We'll find one. Hell yeah, we're getting back in the tank. I've done everything right. Everything. My whole son in life. All I've done is live my life by the manual. By the manual! What's wrong with you? Guy's losing his shit, man. You stupid! You stupid! Bloody machine! Now come on! Come on, Bess! Pull yourself together and work with me! Fuck's sake! I thought you liked to bloody well fight! Hey! You got it to work! All right, hell yeah. Now we're back in business, baby. All right, so on the morning of the third, I called them again. I, I was like, so why is my internet not working? You guys told me three times already that my internet would be working and it is not. What is going on? Basically that day, they told me that uh, the server in my area is at exhaust and they can no longer give any more new customers service in my area. So I'm screwed basically and I have to go find a new internet provider. And I'm just like, are you fucking serious? I had already been a customer with you guys for two fucking years here. I've already had internet with you guys for 
two years here because they're the only internet company in my area that actually has internet out in this area where I live because I kind of live in the middle of nowhere to be honest. Oh so, yeah, fuck this fence, bro. Run right over it. But I was just like, how can you even do that to me? I've been a freaking loyal customer for two years and just because I switched my internet speed, all of a sudden you're just gonna turn my internet completely off like an asshole? Like, are you fucking kidding me? Get destroyed! Like, be real, how can they even do that, okay? The first sales rep person or whatever that I talked to that day, I don't know if they were having a bad day too or whatever, but they were rude as fuck and it, like, they were just rude as fuck, dude, and it pissed me the fuck off, dude. I was already pissed off because I've been doing, dealing with this for like a week at this point. Then the, the fucking person I'm talking to is gonna be an asshole about it. Oh, bro, I flipped the fuck out on this girl. You know, maybe a little bit farther than I should have. I don't know, but I flipped the fuck out on her and then basically told her to go fuck herself and hung up. But <laughs> like an hour or two later, I decided, okay, I'm gonna try this again. I'm gonna call him. I'm gonna be calm. I'm gonna, you know, see what I can get out of this. Where is it? Oh. Boom! What are you gonna do? Why are you running out of tank like that? Like you're gonna do something, bro. I love how I'm just destroying walls as I'm rolling through. Yeah, fuck this wall, bro. The next sales rep girl I was talking to, she was super nice, super understanding. She was basically told me, she's like, is that thing up? I don't know, I'm destroying it though. She's like, basically told me that I'm lucky that I got her instead of somebody else right there because she's like, I will go to war with these people to make sure you, this gets figured out. Basically, it was basically what she was telling me. She was like super convincing. And then she was like, basically telling me how she was arguing with people in their little chat and everything about it. It's basically saying that it was their fault that this happened and not mine and I shouldn't be suffering for it. Basically told me everything I wanted to hear and then was like, all right, um, I'm basically gonna have to go to war with these people. I'm getting a supervisor to try to figure this out, figure it all out and I'll call you back in like an hour is what she said. Basically, just like that and i was like all right just be available be next to the phone so you don't miss the call and i was like all right i will be literally religiously sitting next to my phone waiting for your call i promise i'm turning as soon as i turn you guys are done and i waited that hour and i was like okay where's this call where's it gonna be at so i ended up waiting like two and a half hours and she never called back i never got a call from anybody at CenturyLink. i called another sales rep i told her basically everything that happened to me at that point she basically ended up telling me there was like multiple open orders on my account and i had to have all those orders like finished basically she told me that somebody didn't finish out your orders and that's basically what this was and once that got solved your internet would come on and it would be fine i was like all right so it was just a little mistake but then she goes ahead and tells me but the department that you need to be in contact with is, is closed if they, they, they close at like five o'clock so you're gonna have to call back tomorrow which the next day was fourth of july so it's just like fuck now i gotta wait another day because none of those departments are open on the fourth of july but i called them on fourth of july just to be sure and yeah they told me that nope so i waited another day at this point it's been five days since they told me it was supposed to be on and it, my internet's still not on and i'm dealing with this fucking bullshit whoa whoa takes like up against a tree but oh gotta stay behind it so it can't kill me but the next day after the 4th of July, so the 5th of this month, and it's currently it's currently the 10th of this month, so it gives you kind of a time frame of when this all happened. I called them and it was some it was some oriental lady. I could barely understand what she was even saying, not being racist or anything, I'm just being honest. Like that it, you know how it's like hard for me to understand what she was saying. And she basically told me after being on the phone with her for another like 45 minutes to an hour, she told me that, okay, if I pay a $50 activation fee, it will be on that day. As soon as we're off the call, if I plugged in my router, which I already had plugged in, then it should be working like immediately, right? So let's let's pay this $50 fee. I paid them with my card. Gave her my card number, paid the $50 fee right then and there. And then later that night, I went home, restarted my router. I reset my router. I fucking tried to connect. I did all this shit and it still wasn't working, bro. And it was like nine o'clock at this time. And 10 o'clock at night, I'm like, they charged me another $50 after the $100 modem they already charged me. Another $50. So I'm at $150 into this, not including the $45 fee that's on my bill for the actual service so i'm like dude i'm like into this quite a bit of money and it's still not fucking working it's been five days actually it's been longer than that because it originally stopped working like the 25th of the month before and then i had to wait like a week for the modem to be sent to me and then that's when all the fucking shit on the phone started happening so yeah it's been like over a week at this point like 10 days so i've already been fucking with this at this point like dude i'm done bro i just want my internet to work like what, what is the deal so the next day i called them again i was on this phone with this dude for like and i'm not even kidding an hour and 45 minutes bro and he barely spoke at all like every 10 minutes he'd just be like oh we're still trying to figure out the issue hold on one moment like every 10 15 minutes he'd say that for like 45 or for an hour and 45 minutes i was on the phone with this guy so at the end of the call he basically told me i closed all the open orders on your account they're all should be good now and on the 10th of this month is when your internet should be on and i was like okay but why do i have to wait another five days i've already waited five i was like what the hell bro we went back and forth about that for a minute and then i was like all right well if it's actually going to come on on the 10th and then it'll be all right and i asked this guy i was like dude they have already told me multiple times that this would come on and work and it still has it so is it actually gonna work this time and he assured me bro he assured me that this shit would work this time like i i, I don't even know what the hell dude whoa whoa shit 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 i just flipped the tank over bro i just someone else should drive
But, okay, okay, so I called them again on the 9th, but this time, like, I called them, me and my girlfriend called them together, okay? She was in the car with me. She wanted to talk to him, too. And after they already told me multiple times it's supposed to be on, and then told me again, okay, on the 10th, it will be on. I called them on the 9th, and the person looked at my account and said, uh, there's no way we can give you service. Our servers are completely full in that area. It's at exhaust, and there's no more service to be given. Basically, when they upgraded me from, like, 10 to 20, they basically shut off my internet or something like that, or, like, disconnected it to, like, redo it at 20 or some shit like that. Or what? I don't even know exactly what the fuck happened. But somehow my account got like disconnected and they redid it for probably from all the times multiple people Went through into my account and started changing shit Somebody just fucked me over and in my area apparently they don't provide service anymore here And I was grandfathered in because I had it originally so my I was able to get it because I was grandfathered in originally And because they disconnected me they can't dis they can't reconnect me It's like physically impossible for them or some shit which I guarantee is bullshit bro I guarantee that's bullshit they can fucking give me a goddamn spot okay I've been a loyal customer for two years and they're fucking me over this hard and they can't even give me my goddamn internet are you fucking kidding me right now bro i told you this was gonna be a rant video i told you dude i'm fucking pissed i'm pissed my girlfriend's pissed my fucking family's pissed dude my friends are pissed i dude everyone's pissed about this other big explosion holy shit what's happening holy fuck dude what just happened bro dude your little fucking pea shooter ain't gonna do nothing against my tank look at this guy oh that might though oh shit 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 <laughs> They basically fucked me over, like, you know what I mean? Like, I've been on their internet for two years, I'm trying to upgrade my internet, and because of that, now they can't give me internet out at my house anymore at all is what they're telling me. Their internet is the only internet company that has available high-speed internet in my area. So basically, I have no way of getting high-speed internet at my house. I have no internet at my house. I can't do anything, bro. I can't upload my fucking videos, I can't upload my music, I can't fucking do anything on the internet. I can't watch movies, I can't do anything. Well, I can't watch movies if I had movies, but all the TV I watch is usually on Netflix, so I can't do that. I basically called my dad and I was like, yo, this is some bullshit. And he has internet at like a little cabin that's like 15 feet on the other side of the little driveway right here. He has internet in there and he basically said, um, if we can't get yours working, we're just gonna like put that internet in here and to switch it over. So, I mean, I still might have a little bit of hope of getting internet if that will actually work. Um, but he basically said, oh, I'm gonna call him now. And he ended up having his, his like girlfriend call him or what, I don't even know if they're together or whatever to basically his woman, okay? She apparently went off on him, like, hella hard, like, even harder than we did, I, I guess. They told her that if I wait three days, a guy is gonna drive out here from their, come from CenturyLink, and he's gonna call me when he's here so I can talk to him in person, and they are gonna resolve the issue. Apparently. That's what they told her. But I honestly, at this point, I don't even honestly believe that that's actually gonna happen. Like, I'm hoping she actually got through to him, and it will. Another tank? Dude, how many of them are there? But they've already told me that they were gonna have it back on and fix it, like, four or five times now, maybe more. I, 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 I I can't believe them anymore, bro. I can't believe a fucking thing they say, honestly. So, so yeah, that was yesterday. So, n not tomorrow, but the next day. One of these days soon, bro, they, they should actually show up. My internet might come on in a couple days. It, it might not. I, I'm probably going to end up having to call them again. And this, this fucking nightmare is going to continue to keep going. Like, this is actually bullshit basically the moral of this whole story is fuck century link like fuck them bro like no company has ever been so rude and so just like unbelievably just in the wrong bro and still fucking me over like i've never had an actual company fuck me over so hard before i don't understand how they can even do this to me dude like nobody that i've talked to about the situation knows how the fuck they can actually do this to me but apparently it's happening all my netflix is on that shit i can't watch tv none of my dude look at this look at this, look at this actually my fucking steam does not open dude my steam doesn't actually open like if i like say i want to open my steam okay i click on steam this was working by the way for like the first half of this whole ordeal my steam would open i could play all my games it was just fine i was doing a fallout 4 play through right so i was able to record that but now for some reason when i try to open my steam if it'll actually open let's do i run that bitch as administrator come on run as administrator yes other does this shit right here where it just doesn't open at all or when it actually does open so normally you'd open steam in offline mode if you don't have internet right but look if i click this start in offline mode which this worked like literally two days ago this worked perfectly fine i was able to play all my games but it just comes back to the screen could not connect to steam network start in offline mode start that should that should it, why is it why is it just giving me the same fucking screen bro like it should start in offline mode like so basically steam is like locking me out of my account so i cannot play any of the games like divinity 2 fucking uh fallout 4 new vegas conan exiles which i want to make videos on this it won't let me open tidefall far cry 5 far cry 3 not that i even play these that much but still like bro it, it, like it won't let me open any games i have no fucking videos no movies no fucking nothing to watch i've literally just been watching my own videos that i've made that are on my hard drive for like the last 
like week. Dude, this has been going on for like 10, 15 days now. Close to 15, like half a month, bro. Like what the fuck? Like holy shit, I'm pissed, bro. Like I'm pissed. Like I, I, you, I think you fully understand the situation. Centrelink, fuck yourself, bro. Like seriously, fuck you, dude. What, what would you do in my situation? Like I've tried everything. I'm, I'm gonna keep fighting them, bro. I'm gonna keep fighting them until they give me my internet back or something, or I'm gonna have to fucking move or something because I need internet, bro. I can't live without internet, bro. I just can't. Okay, calm down. Calm down. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, leave me a like or a comment or both. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day or night or whatever you're watching this. And like always, I'm Dusky and fuck CenturyLink, bro. Later. Lately, I am busy all the time. Love's a heartbreak, think I will be fine. Always on the strongest weed around. In the studio, I will be found. I am busy being me. I am busy being me.